You're watching King 5 News. It has been called a disturbing use of force by the ACLU, an officer throwing a female student to the ground as other students look on. And while it's very hard to watch, it's being shared thousands of times all over the Internet. NBC's Carrie Sanders updates us on the investigation into what led up to that incident. Posted by a high school student to Twitter with the title, This Is Not Okay, a uniformed resource officer in Roseville, North Carolina, hoists a student in the air and then tosses her to the ground. That video lasts only nine seconds, but just as that video was going viral, another longer video was posted online. It appears to have been recorded before the officer body slammed the female student. That video appears to show a fight between two other female students. The mayor in Roseville telling NBC News the school resource officer involved in the incident is now on paid administrative leave. City officials say the officer, Ruben De Los Santos, who worked at the school for four years, was wearing a body camera. Whatever was recorded will not be released until an investigation into the incident is completed. More than a year ago, someone claiming to be a teacher at the school posted a complaint on the web. The vast majority of students at RHS are disrespectful to teachers and do not come to school to learn. Tonight, a disturbing snippet of a chaotic moment that has students, parents and teachers asking, could force like this in a school be justified? Police officials in North Carolina are asking for the State Bureau of Investigation to investigate after that cell phone video emerged. Rollsville Police Chief Bobby Langston addressed a city council meeting this evening where he read a brief statement about the incident. We will work diligently to review any and all pertinent information so that we can provide an accurate account of the events. We ask the community and all members involved to be patient while we investigate this matter. The city's mayor says the officer was wearing a body camera at the time, as Kerry mentioned in that story, but the video will not be released until the investigation is done.